You're watching Gold Rush and a Russian. We're looking back at Season 1, Episode 2, Gold, Guns, and Bears. So what happened? Before they can mine gold on their 160-acre claim, the Hoffman crew needs to set up camp, which involves clearing level ground, unloading kids' bicycles, building a cabin, and jump-starting vehicles. Two days later, the camp is ready, and Todd reveals his plan for finding gold. According to his 24 months of research, he reveals that gold can be found underground. He also discovers that it's sometimes near mountains, or rivers, and is apparently heavy. Jack and Todd disagree, however, on the best way to find it. Todd wants to find a steady pay streak, and Jack wants to dig deep to find a glory hole. Initial test pans on the claim find nothing, though Jack is able to back the excavator into his own parked truck in the process. Gold mining is then put on hold as a bear appears near their site. Jimmy Dorsey, who only has a tent for shelter, is panicked by sounds in the night and responds by running unarmed into the dark woods. Others come to his aid by also running blindly into the night, only with weapons, including Todd who carries an AR-15, known in my area, as a grizzly tickler. We can only assume the bears are made of gold because Todd is unable to find them. The next day, when Todd is away buying a duplex jig that he does not know how to work and cannot afford, Jack is digging random holes randomly on the claim. Jimmy Dorsey pans the test holes for gold despite not knowing how to work a gold pan and being colorblind. But then another grizzly bear arrives and eats graham crackers left on the ground. Unable to find the offending bear, they urinate on his scat, then shoot a black bear that is not in their camp as a warning to the others. Later, Todd is forced to call claim owner Earl Foster, asking him where to dig. Earl gives a random guess, which Todd accepts as fact, and they stake their entire season on this advice. Best lines. And Todd is all fired up. He wants to bring a strategy to his dad's chaotic approach to finding a glory hole. Survival in Alaska isn't just about avoiding Jack in an excavator. I've seen some little specks, but not enough to really turn my crank. There's no plan B. We can't even afford plan A. Join us next time when Todd Hoffman's team thinks they finally find gold, until they sadly realize it is only a half-eaten box of Twinkies.